Okay, yeah, this is a, it. Uh, a radio studio. I'd like you to try this very simple commercial <laughs> up here, David. Listen, uh, the next time you're hungry for breakfast, bring your appetite to Burger King. See, see right away, I know the problem. I, I don't sound enthusiastic about going to Burger King because I've been to Burger King. <laughs> You see, one thing, David, is these people are paying for the commercial. Screw them. Okay. Now, uh, what I'm going to do uh, before I read the commercial, I'm going to do a little something that will establish myself as a personality on the air. Okay. Okay? All right. We'll start with something like that. I'll begin with that now. Hi! What'd you think? <laughs> yeah, I need some work, but... Uh... <clears throat> this weekend, selected Groat and Weagle items are sale-priced at all stop-and-shop supermarkets. Now, here's Dave. Yeah. What happened? Very nice. It's great fun. I'm just glad this isn't an airplane. Uh, but I see myself as kind of a, maybe a late night sort of voice in the dark. Now imagine that you're, you're in your car, you're driving across Kansas, it's like two in the morning, mm -hmm. and there's a beautiful, in fact, uh, uh, George, can we turn the lights off here? You don't mind, do you, Ken? No. Turn the lights down. Oh, sure. that's perfect, yeah. And, and you're thinking to yourself, geez, my life isn't worth a plug nickel. And then all of a sudden, uh, I come on, you, 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 out of the night, you hear this. Now, and right away you think, wow, well, maybe there is some hope for me. There's a voice out there. Yeah. It's Dave. A couple of weeks ago, I just returned from the market. It was dusk, nightfall, beautiful silvery sunset in the western sky. And as I was fumbling, trying to get through the door with my purchases into the house, something, some kind of noise distracted me from, from up on the roof. Watch this. This may be a little advanced, but I'll try it anyway. <laughs> And the next thing you know, I was blinded by a wailing flash of hissing, spitting fur and talons. And before you know it, a giant, like, 18-pound raccoon had dived onto my face. Its little raccoon jaws had locked onto my nose and just, with a giant pincer action, clamped onto my nose like that and, and wouldn't release itself. What did you do? So finally, what I had to do was, with violent head movements, left and right, I was, was able to fling it off, and it, I flung it so far, it went over the fence and bounced off my neighbor, neighbor's station wagon, and, and I never saw it again. And now, ladies and gentlemen, air supply. <laughs> Every woman in the world. <laughs> well, I'll do a commercial, and then Robert Palmer will join us.